In today's very late night special, it's going to be a very short one today, we're going to be discussing the severe weather possibilities over the next couple of weeks as we really quickly have transitioned from a wintry pattern into a now upcoming very spring-like pattern. And this is coming early. I've seen a lot of comments of people being like, well, it is that time of year, but we are really transitioning into something that is a lot more spring-like than we would typically be seeing in late February into early March. I would say what we're about to head into is much more on par with what you see in mid to late March, maybe even early April, uh, with multiple, I would say about three severe weather opportunities here coming up over the next 10 to 15 days. So let's discuss it today. And I do want to apologize, by the way, for the very late videos that have been coming out. Obviously, you guys know what's been going on with my mom. And a lot of you have been concerned about that. And I do appreciate it. I'm happy to tell you that she is doing better. What is happening now is I have put off a lot of personal responsibilities in order to take care of my mom and my family. Uh, and really, I have put a lot aside. And I underestimated how much catching up I was going to need to do. So I've been doing a lot around the house, doing a lot of things that needed to be done a long time ago so I have just been super busy with life stuff uh, but here over the coming week I am going to catch up on all of that as I already am in the process of doing and things will be back to normal very very soon thankfully so thank you for your concerns and prayers I do appreciate all of that and especially of course the, the GoFundMe and everything that has been uh, fully trans transferred over to my father who now has used that for all the medical bills um the amount that we got did not cover everything. It would have if I would have left it up and kept advertising it, but that just kind of felt wrong to let you guys pay for everything. And I'm so thankful and I was amazed at how quickly it was growing and you guys would have quickly surpassed the amount that we even needed, but it felt incredibly wrong to let it just keep flying and soaring the way that it was. Um, I, I felt like, you know, the, the four grand that it, it tallied up to was plenty, um, well, way more help than I thought it would ever be. So I am incredibly thankful for that. And, you know, they are okay. That helped a lot. And now everything is okay. So I do appreciate all of that so much. I just want to let you know what happened with those funds. I've seen a lot of people commenting, like he kept the money. He got a puppy with the money. Uh, that those comments are obviously, in a, and I don't let comments affect me, but those are the kind of comments that for the first time in my YouTube career here uh, have actually affected me a little bit here. Uh, that definitely is uh, super disheartening to see that there's people that actually think that I would do something like that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a professional YouTuber at this point. This is my job. And I don't know why anybody thinks I would jeopardize that for a quick 4,000 bucks for myself. That just is so ridiculous and, and very, very insulting and hurtful. Um, so yeah, just wanted to put all that out there. The money has been used for what it was supposed to be used for. Um, I can't believe I've even had to clarify that. Now with that long spiel over, let's get into the weather. So we do see that we do have a Southeast storm that was happening earlier uh, today. We've had to use the 12 Z run here because the zero Z run is not out yet. So this is actually from this morning and afternoon. And we did have some showers, potentially even thunderstorms in the Southeast. Uh, and we're moving into a little bit of a colder pattern for a minute. But again, that 25th time frame is coming up and this is what we're left with. Uh, this is our first severe weather threat as we get this really quick surge of warmth and humidity in the East. That is one part of it, okay? So there's two pieces to this puzzle. That's part number one. We'll draw it down here. Part number one. Now, part number two is going to be this cold air mass up here with that cold front elongating there out ahead of it. That is going to be part number two. Now, when part number one and part number two come together, we're going to see severe cold moving really quickly into an area that has been dealing with way above normal temperatures, way above normal humidity. So we have tons of humidity and warmth in here, tons of really, really cold air moving straight into it. This is going to be a recipe for severe weather in these areas. Uh, so let's watch that cold front move through. It starts out in kind of the Midwest Ohio Valley in deep South Central areas. So this is kind of that threat for Tuesday into Wednesday, 27th into 28th. And as we move on later on, on Wednesday afternoon, you see it's pretty quick moving and we see this kind of up and down the East Coast here where I think there is going to be some thunderstorm and severe weather chances in this area as well for Wednesday the 28th. Now as we move into the 29th, we see that one moves out. But what we quickly get is this kind of surge of warmth again, surge of humidity coming with it. 
and another area of thunderstorms here for the southeast don't know if this one has as much severe weather potential for the first through the second of march here uh, but definitely there is the chance for thunderstorms especially the further south you go and with that will come some chance of severe weather i just don't think it's going to be as elevated as some of these other opportunities will end up being we see that moves up the east coast and um, we do get that kind of thunderstorm threat but here comes threat number three Okay, so now after that one, again, that one was not a cold front, so we still see this warmth and humidity surging in the east. Again, far above normal temperatures and humidity here throughout the eastern half of the nation. But what we have is another very cold, cold air mass that has moved into the west. No surprise there. A 979 millibar low pressure center. Uh, and this one has a cold front extending to the east of it. And I think that this is going to bring another severe weather threat here for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, into Nebraska, maybe even further north. And then after this point on the 14th, there's no telling what this is going to do, but my presumption here is that it's going to continue its trek eastward and be another kind of half a nation severe weather threat, I would say, uh, for the central and eastern states. This one likely is going to move eastward and bring more thunderstorm and severe weather threats with it. So I'd say threat number one and three here are the most prominent ones that stand out to me. But that middle threat number two definitely does pose some chance for thunderstorms and severe weather. That's only a 10-day period here. And we see these three events within that 10-day period. So about once every three and a half days or so. Definitely a very, very intense kind of surge of spring-like severe weather happening very, very early on here for late February into early March. This is very, very odd weather. Don't get it twisted. This is definitely above normal as far as the activity, the humidity, and the temperatures. Again, a lot of people want to comment like, oh, we are moving into the spring, so this is normal, but it's not. This is compared to normal. This is definitely coming in above average as far as just how intense this surge is and how early in the year it is. Again, much more on par with a late March to early April type event here happening much, much earlier than that, of course. Anyway, like I said, this is going to be a quicker update coming out very late. Likely most of you are going to be seeing this tomorrow on Saturday the 24th. Um, but this video is coming out on the evening of Friday, February 23rd, might even be after 12 a.m. here. So definitely a very late night special. And again, I do apologize. Like I said, li life stuff is kind of just caught up with me here uh, because of the other responsibilities that have been kind of added to my life here recently. Um, of course, I would do it again in a heartbeat, but uh, that has added these complications that have made these videos just take a little bit longer to get out as I've been catching up on a lot of things that have needed to be done. I hope you guys understand these videos are going to be coming back to normal, being uploaded in the afternoon daily. So be on the lookout for that coming up, hopefully very soon, maybe even starting tomorrow. So I'm, I'm very close to that point. Thank you guys for understanding. Be sure to subscribe for nearly daily uploads. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.